I just wanted to make a quick video on how to connect Namecheap with Netlify for free domain hosting. Um, I'm not going to go into much detail of either of the products, Namecheap and Netlify, but I just wanted to show how to connect the two so that they're communicating with each other. You have a custom domain that's hosted through Netlify and you're not having to pay for your hosting through Namecheap. You just pay for your domain. Uh, so what we're going to do is do this through what's called a name server. Um, and before I get started on this, just make sure you have a domain purchased with, ne with Namecheap. Uh, if you don't already have one, you're just going to search it here, find one that you'd like, uh, add to cart and pay for it. And once you have that, the second thing you're going to want to do is make sure you have a Netlify account. You can do that by going to netlify.com. This is my account here. Um, but you're going to want to go to netlify.com and sign up for an account. That's free for the standard plan, which is just static website hosting. And yeah, that's all you're going to need for for now. Oh, and of course, a, a website if you if you want a landing page or anything for for your actual actual website to actually publish something, you're going to need the website to do so. Yeah, the the files on your computer. But to connect the DNS, we won't need that. So, on the name cheap. I'm going to go over to account dashboard. Then I'm going to go to domain list. And click on the domain that I want to edit, the one that I want to connect to name uh, to Netlify. So I'm going to use this ciclismoelsalvador.com or .org. Then click on actions, DNS slash host records. So this has here, please do a final review before changes. Just a little disclaimer. Um, you have one domain selected. That's the one we want to select. And the current DNS, as you can see, is named cheap basic DNS. We're going to want to change that to a custom one. And then we understand that this may impact the servers and they may stop working. Another disclaimer there. And this last one's optional. You don't have to notify via email, but you can if you'd like. Click Next. Then we're going to want to go to custom DNS server type. And now I have these name servers come up. This is where we're going to go over to Netlify. Once you're logged in, you're going to want to click on domains. And I already have this here, but I'm going to do it one more time just to, just to show. So add or register domain and type in the domain. This already has an owner. Is that you? Yes, it is. And I'm just going to skip past this optional for now because I'm just connecting it directly with Namecheap for hosting, not for anything else at this time. So continue. Then actify, activate Netlify DNS. Update your domain server. Last step, log into your domain provider and change your name server to the following. So we're just going to copy and paste these one by one. I guess I could have done a split, split view on this, but I guess we're too late now. So copy those four DNS records over and click Save Changes. Should be brought back to your domain list and you'll be good to go on Namecheap. Come over back to Netlify, click Done. Now we have this set up. So when we go to Domains, it's going to show us this website now. And if you're just wanting to connect the domain, that's all you need to do. Um, but we're going to want to put a site on it too. But if you ever forget these, these name servers or if you ever need to change anything else, it'll all be in the domains and whichever link it is. Okay, so now to put a website on there, of course, make sure you have a website, some website files. Go to sites. And then all you have to do is drag and drop from your desktop onto Netlify. So want to deploy a new site, just drag and drop your site folder here. And it's uploaded, but the site has, now the site's been deployed. I'm just going to change, um, if you click on the, the settings there, let me draw, I just pushed that a little bit fast, site settings, that's going to get you into the site settings, but we want to be right here. So the site's been deployed. Now we want to set up a custom domain. Again, we already have this. OK, 
type in that domain, yes, it's me. And now what, what this is going to do is uh, bring up this custom domain with the uh, checking for DNS configuration. And this will take a little bit. We already have put these into the, to the name server. We can verify that we have the custom DNS just like we planned, just like we uh, set up. So now it's just going to be a little bit of a waiting game. Um, but once everything's done, it could be up to 24 to 48 hours. We're going to have this link all together. It's going to be green, just like this top one, green. And then the HTTPS is with the SSL is also going to tell you that it's, it's set up. Um, so yeah, that's all you have to do to get the two linked together. Uh, feel free to comment if you have any questions. Like I say, it just takes a little bit at this point. Um, see, now we've, we've got this one set up now. Oh, there we go. So the, the domains are actually set up now. Since they are, I'm just going to verify that it's working. And there we are. The same file that I just drag over HTML. This is from HTML5 up. It has that right here. And so you see it's pretty quick. Um, the HTTPS will take a little bit for the SSL. Um, but And that's, of course, to make it so it shows that it is secure. So you can have the little uh, the, the lock uh, shown, which is a big help for most websites. But that'll take a little bit, and then that's all you got to do.